These juvenile salmon are definitely ready to be released. This pool will be the start of their journey to the sea. A filming crew is going to record video of the release. This is a time-lapse camera set up with a light. That's quite a setup. White reflectors on the bottom of the chute. Three lights and a remote control video camera, maybe a GoPro. The smolt are ready to leave the pond and to head to the sea. This is called the old clipping trailer, where employees or contractors clip the fins of the fingerlings. So Brandon and Carol are clipping the fins on these they're spring chinook. Oh, they're spring. spring chinook individually. At this point, are they called fry? No, they're fingerlings. Fingerlings. Is there a certain location or style of clip that identifies it? Uh, we're doing right, pelvic yeah. fin clip on these fish. Typically you see the adipose fin clip, but we're doing one down here. Okay. So that identifies them as being from the hatchery? Uh, yeah. I believe they might have a color where a tag in them also. Yeah, they got a tag in their noggin. Wow. They've done this for a couple years now. What kind of mark is that? This this pelvic fin. Oh, okay. Instead of the adipose fin, which is typical. This is so they can keep track of when they come back. Okay. I think it's what, it's what they were telling us. But. I, I think I heard the percentage is about 1% for returns. Does that sound about right? Yes, it actually could even be a little less than that. And we're talking how many fish? Uh, well, I don't know their numbers, but we've marked, what was it, 450,000 already? Oh yeah. my goodness, 450,000 marked already. This set, there's only 25,000. In this batch that we have to finish up. That wasn't just as there was more people here for the other. There's anesthetic in the water, so... Push him to sleep so we don't have to fight him. Look at that guy. You want some of your own or are you going to? Yeah, I'll take some. That was a good thing. So I guess they'll start to slow down here. Yeah, just a quick second. I got to switch past you. Is this a volunteer job? No, actually contractors for Kelly's, through Kelly Services. Oh. The Clippers used to be hired by the state, but for, I don't know, quite a while now, they've been using Kelly Services for clipping jobs. So the fingerlings are slowing down from the anesthetic. special anesthetic that's just for cold-blooded animals. So it doesn't affect you? No. <laughs> I forgot the species. These are spring chinook. Spring chinook. Tag trailers. Used to be tagging machines at the individual sinks back there. You call this a clipping trailer? Well, it used to, they used to be clipping and tagging in here. So Dave, what are we gonna do next? Uh, I gotta lower the pond down first, and that when the fish go out, that way they're not dropping down a five foot drop onto the concrete. Oh. So we lower the pond first, wait a couple hours, and then I'll actually pull the gate and let them go. Sounds exciting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone's waiting for a meal. Yeah. It's a heron. The coho smelt are ready to go to the sea. I've been allowed to come inside to witness this.
right now no fish are getting through, right? No caught right now yet. I gotta pull this screen up. Okay. Just letting the water out. If I pulled the screen now, they'd be doing They're anxious to leave. I didn't even realize this screen is rotating. Yep, that's how it, it self cleans itself, so you get no oil or leaves or anything that builds up on there, it'll plug it up. Rotates to self clean, makes sense, and it's not fast enough to get the fish over the ladder. Yep. Now we wait. Now we wait. <laughs> Lowering the pond, you can see the volume of water coming out from the right pipe. So Andrew's with the University of Washington, and he's doing a study on wildlife movement. He's interested in documenting the release of the fish. There's a lot more volume coming out of that pipe now that the pond's been opened up. The Dungeness River is running full from melting snows. The coho smelt will have no trouble making their way to the sea. How do these guys get in here? They come from our old abandoned pond. Oh. We still don't even know how. But we collect them and study the numbers on our are they uh, a variety of species? Most of these should be Chanel. They're rescuing these little guys. That's a little lamprey too. Oh, a lamprey. <laughs> Does he uh, consume the fry? I don't think so, but I've seen them on adult salmon when I'm out fishing in the bay. So Parasitic of some sort, huh? Yeah. Put back into the canal that goes to the river. They don't know where they're coming from, but they're releasing them. Seems like you need a bigger net. We say about this many, but our highest record is about 87. 87. So Chase is one year into this industry and he's really enjoying it. And I can see why. Who wouldn't want to catch a little fish in a net? But he's been in the fishing industry for probably most of his adult life. Here's Sky and Diane. Hi, Sky. Hi, girl. <laughs> well, the pond's been lowered at least a foot. This little dinghy is now totally beached. Still needs to be a little bit lower. No, so it's not spilling over anymore which is good. So we don't want the fish to fall a long distance. So I'm raising this up so they can slip under it and go out without hurting themselves. coming from that pipe, right?
maybe one following uh, leader that says, okay, let's go, folks. You know, sort of like leads to a snowball effect where more and more go, and you got a pulse to grow. Pulse. Interesting. Wow. There's a pulse of fish. Smoke. Coho smoke. They're about a year old, aren't they? So, three more years of their life when they return here to the same pond that they were raised. <laughs> when he opened it up, it was just, I was in there and was gone. Yeah, you almost got washed down in that. That's a lot of pressure. What do you think, Sky? So, the smolts are now exiting this pond, but it's too murky to see them. That's where they entered the pond. <laughs> How many fish in this pond are released? Roughly 800,000. 800,000. And this is where the newly released smoke enter into the major Dungeness River and make their way to the ocean, the Strait of Juan de Fuca. This creek is actually diverted from the river, goes into the ponds, and serves as the outlet and inlet, both directions for release of the salmon and the return of the salmon to spawn. See anything? Kind of milky from opening up the pond. Fish are still jumping. They said it'll take them up to 24 hours to find their way out. <laughs> 